here we go again. Yucca Mountain is making headlines once more. A new vote is now reviving the plan for a nuclear waste dump there. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George breaks down where things stand right now. This all stems from an idea that concerns a lot of people here in Las Vegas. The idea of dumping nuclear waste just about 100 miles north in rural Nye County. But while today's vote is concerning, it's far from a done deal. It's something Nevadans have been bracing for for decades, a fight that's been going on since the early 80s, back when Richard Bryan was governor. I was told as governor that it was inevitable, just accept it, it's, it's, it's going to happen. While today's vote may be the furthest things have gotten, there have been votes on this for years, from 1982 when Congress started searching for potential waste sites, to five years later when Nevada was singled out. Things heated up again in 2002 when George W. Bush signed off on a resolution to move forward, then in 2010, a reverse course with President Obama axing the funding. So why is it back again now? Clearly the Trump administration is close to uh, oil, coal, and nuclear industries. And so their agenda in terms of the energy front is to Katie bar the door, whatever you want. But just like other governors in both parties before him today, Sandoval keeping the tradition of fighting the plan alive. We don't negotiate, period. Um, it is dangerous, it is unsafe, it is improper, and we'll continue down that path. And he has bipartisan support behind him. Both of our senators, all four Congress members, the Chamber of Commerce, the county, and cities like Las Vegas and Henderson. So what's next? It would still have to pass the Senate, which Brian doesn't think will happen. But even if it does and the president approves it, there are still questions about the science of it, not to mention the legal challenges and the fact that nothing's even been constructed. It would still be years before we saw anything at Yucca. It certainly does not mean uh, that it's going to happen. A lot would occur, have to occur before that would happen. Now this heads to the Senate where we used to have the influence of high-ranking Harry Reid helping us, but both of our senators are still promising to fight the plan. Tom George, 13 Action News.